Um, my name is Agniya Veer Dhingra. I come from Mumbai. I went to the Oberoi International School. Um, I'm studying IB here, doing maths, economics, and politics at the HL level, and then physics, French, and English at the standard level. And tell us, how did you find out about Bromsgrove School? Uh, so I had an educational consultant by the name of Red Pen. Uh, Miss Alti and Miss Avril helped me to find the school, and I came here. I really liked the campus, so I just figured I'd apply and see how it goes. And yeah, I got in. So. Fantastic. Yeah. So welcome. And what have been your first impressions about Bromsgrove? Um, I really like the, the diverse range of opportunities, things that I wouldn't have done otherwise. So, for instance, choir. I really like singing, but it just never crossed my mind. Uh, other than that, economics. There's an international economics competition um, that. I see the school offers, so that wide range of opportunities is, was sort of my first impression, and then as well as the welcomingness and uh, of everyone around. So, did yeah. you come to induction, and what were your impressions of induction? I did come to the induction, and I thought it was a very useful period to get accustomed to the life of boarding. Uh, I feel like if I would just come one day before the school starts, it would be a tougher transition. So that that would just help. Uh, the induction helped me settle in. Uh, figure out how to do laundry, etc., uh, etc. Et okay, you've only been here a week, haven't you? But have <laughs> yeah. you managed to make some friends yet? Yeah, yeah. Uh, people, the people, as I said, are very welcoming and nurturing. So I think I've got a, got myself a good friend group. There's uh, I've interacted with people of various nationalities, and I'm quite liking it here. So tell us about your boarding house. Which boarding house are you in? And tell us a little bit about your boarding yeah, house. Yeah. So I'm in Houseman Hall. Uh, it's often said that boarding houses sort of match their personality, and I I wholeheartedly agree with that sentiment. So I feel like I'm a very jovial, outgoing person, and Houseman Hall is the biggest house. Uh, so I think that's a it's a good match for me, and um, yeah, I get along with all the people in my house, and the house masters and house parents are very uh, um, quite l uh, nice. Yeah. And tell us a bit about your IB. You've chosen the IB. Mm -hmm. How are your lessons going? Uh, are you enjoying the subjects you've chosen? I'm definitely enjoying it. I'm enjoying it a lot. Not just the lessons, but also the activities after school. In terms of IB, one thing I really enjoy is theory of knowledge. I'm someone who really likes philosophy, um, and I think theory of knowledge is, is quite similar to that. So, uh, understanding how to think, understanding where knowledge comes from, it really allows you to interpret different sets of information and sort of that that understanding and knowledge can be transferable to any field that you and I think it's a very useful skill. Fantastic. And any ideas for the future? What are your aspirations for the future for the uh, university and then even beyond? So I'm actually not really sure. Uh, maybe in university I want to study PPE or um, economics. Uh, but as I said, I'm not sure. And for a career. Maybe something like a venture capital would be nice. Oh my goodness, okay, yeah. wonderful. But yeah. well, obviously here you can make use of our careers department and university advice centre and everything like that. Now you mentioned the choir, you mentioned economics as activities. What other activities have you decided you'd like to do? Or so, what you? Um, the school play. Oh, you're going to be in the school play? I'm not sure Fantastic. yet. Fantastic. <laughs> not yeah. sure yet, yeah. maybe. Um, Model United Nations, again, something that's really fascinating. Um, You've got a pretty full schedule, haven't yeah. you? Eh? And then tennis, it's a new sport I've picked up over here. Wonderful. And in the evenings in the boarding house, what sort of things, what's your routine in the evening? What do you get up to in the boarding house? Um, so in the evenings, we often play, go play football um, in the free time. Then dinner, uh, prep, and then after that, uh, so, um, from 9 to 10.30, just sort of unwind, relax, maybe do some work that wasn't done in prep. or. Uh, sort of relax, maybe buy some, uh, <laughs> go see some waitros. Yeah, waitros is nearby. It's always <laughs> yeah. good waitros. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Waitros and what's your is room great. like? Have you got a roommate? Uh, yeah, I've got a roommate. Uh, his name's Luca. He's from Romania. Um, I think him and I have very dis different personalities. So I think, you know, that sort of opposites attracts. Um, and I think he's a lot more to himself, but we still get along really well. Oh, really so nice. I've uh, we've had quite a lot of conversations, and he's a really good friend of mine. That's really nice. And what about tutor? Have you met your tutor? Yes, yet? Um, my tutor is Ms. Popescu. Yeah. I think she has helped me a lot. She's helped me um, sort of guide my way around CAS, creati Creativity Activity Service, which is something I was absolutely con uh, confused about. But she sort of streamlined the process and has organized my activities and helped me organize my activities in a way that I really have the utmost clarity with, with what 
to do and how to reach my CAS goals. So I'm off to Mumbai in a few weeks' time because I'm actually going to attend a Red Pen exhibition. So any any hints for me, any tips for me of things I should do when I'm in Mumbai? Uh, you have to try the Vada Pav. Oh really? Yeah. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And when are you going back home? Uh, I'm going back in the half-term break in October.